Hello, um, today I would like to show you how to remove background from a picture in order to make uh, digital, um, digital stories in your Google slide or PowerPoint presentation uh, for your students in any kind of um, language that you, if you're teaching a world language or um, in, in any other kind of subject. First, I will choose from my um, Google Drive. I would like to create Google Slides, but you can do this in a PowerPoint uh, if uh, you work with PowerPoint rather than Google Slides. <clears throat> uh, first, um, you want to um, name your story. I, will, I teach Spanish, so I will make a story in Spanish. Um, un mapa de tesoro, a treasure map. Okay, so that's my title, and I can, of course, I can uh, insert any kind of pictures here if I want to later. I want to go to the things I want to show you right now. I edit another slide and on my second slide I will begin the story. Um, I could insert a, um, I can make a background picture by double clicking with two fingers on the slide and then choosing background or change background and then I can choose an image and I can either um, find it online or upload it uh, if um, if I have, let's see. Ocean. Okay, so if I go to the search window and type ocean. And images. I can choose uh, one of those um, any kind maybe okay and take copy and then go back to my presentation and paste choose and insert an image so now this will be my background uh, for the story and I can use any kind of characters. Usually I use my Bitmoji if the story is about my adventures or me finding a treasure map in this case. So I have an extension on my Google Chrome of Bitmoji, of my Bitmoji. So I'm going to use that uh, extension and select one. Sometimes for an easier find of a suitable uh, Bitmoji, I just type a word in the search box and uh, I want the walking bit module, walking on the beach. So I can use this one, which looks more like running, but that's okay. Um, because I love to run, especially on the beach. Um, okay, so I inserted my bit module and just leave it there and save. Um, then my story is about a treasure map, so I want for my Bitmoji to find on the beach a, a treasure map. So how I um, do that? Usually they, the treasure map are in a bottle. So she, my Bitmoji finds a bottle on the beach. So how I do that? I would go to, again, search. If you use Google search, I, I use the search box and I would type a map, a treasure map in a bottle to the bowl. Let me see, the one looks good. Maybe this one looks good. Okay, let's try that one again. Go there. Um, Put image. Oops. Um, just okay. uh, 
now I insert the new one. Ah, looks like it's going to do a better job here. Download. And again, I go to my presentation when it's downloaded. And insert image. Upload from computer. Go to download and I find it here. So I, I choose in my downloads, from my downloads. And here is my bottle. Now I can move it or make it smaller, resize it in any, in any way. Make it smaller and I can also make it as if it's lying on the beach. Okay. And you could um, insert speech bubbles here uh, if your character is speaking or you can um, like I can insert text text box explaining uh, in the language, I, I like to use this uh, for my this font comics in about 21. Okay, and if I want it to be in the middle, okay, so un dia, Marietta. Um, caminaba por la playa y encontró Oops. encontró una botella con un Mapa de tesoro. And then you can uh, manipulate uh, in any possible way the text or the uh, or what happens in the story. So this is my way to create uh, digital stories for my class for my classes, Spanish classes. Um, and uh, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, a good website. It's uh, remove that bg to remove the background so you can uh, create your story with any possible object or character you find online okay thank you bye, -bye.